His Excellency Ambassador Ram Prasad Subedi, Ambassador and Permanent Representative of Nepal, Her Excellency Ms. Athalia Mulokome, Ambassador and Permanent Representative of Botswana, Excellencies, Distinguished Delegates. I thank you, Mr. Chairman, for the opportunity to address the Committee on Trade and Development and share some insights on the third United Nations Conference on Landlocked Developing Countries, the LLDC 3. Allow me to first extend my deep appreciation to the Committee for providing this platform to discuss the trade and development challenges faced by the landlocked developing countries. Trade remains a foremost tool for achieving sustainable economic development. Yet the challenges confronting the LNDC's trade are too often overlooked within the development system. Despite representing about 7% of the global population, LLDCs accounted for just 1.2% of global exports in 2023, with their exports in manufacturers contributing to only 0.28% of the world total. Their share of global exports of services reached only 0.8% in the same year, while their share of digitally deliverable services reached only 0.3% in 2022. New analysis by my office also finds that the LLDC's export unit logistics costs are 44% higher than other developing economies. The LLDC uh, trade ministers have since 2016 continued their calls to establish a work program on their specific challenges under the auspicious of the WTO. The LLDC is recognized that the WTO will be key for ensuring their integration into the multilateral trading system. And I hope that this focus session of the committee would be an important first step towards building the appropriate and full framework of such support. Excellencies, the new program of action for the LLDCs was agreed by consensus in June this year by the membership of the United Nations. It is a product of a rigorous review of the preceding Vienna Program of Action and substantive intergovernmental negotiations. Allow me to highlight a few expected outcomes of the new Program of Action. The Program of Action, firstly, outlines a shared political vision and actionable commitments across five priority areas, that is structural transformation, trade, transit and transport, climate resilience, and means of implementation. It also introduces four key deliverables aimed at tackling structural barriers, which include regional agriculture research hubs and infrastructure investment and finance facility, and a high-level panel on freedom of transit to be set up by the Secretary General of the United Nations. These deliverables focus on vital areas where the LLDCs need increased support to improve connectivity, boost trade, and build resilient economies. Secondly, the program of action involves specific commitments of direct relevance to the WTO. Key objectives include doubling the share of LLDCs in global merchandise exports, diversifying export base, bases, increasing value addition, and expanding exports of services and e-commerce. It also commits to supporting the six LLDCs that are in the process of exceeding to the WTO. It targets new support to LLDCs to comply with sanitary and phytosanitary measures and technical standards on goods in transits. The program of action also underlines the interest of the landlocked developing countries in having a dedicated work program on their special needs under the auspicious of the WTO. Thirdly, addressing LLDCs infrastructure needs also remains paramount. The Program of Action identifies concrete targets, commitments and deliverables, including the dedicated investment finance facility to tackle the estimated $510 billion of transport infrastructure gap in the LNDCs. If fully realized, these measures could significantly enhance connectivity and drive economic growth. Fourthly, International frameworks for transit and regional cooperation are central for LLDC's progress. The Program of Action proposes the establishment of a high-level panel of experts under the UN Secretary General 
to recommend improvements to the international frameworks for the freedom of transit. There are also commitments on transport corridors, regional integration, transit guarantee systems, and regional infrastructure development. Finally, Excellencies, at the LLDC conference, the UN Secretary General will convene a meeting of the principals of the UN funds and programs, regional commissions, and other regional and international organizations, including the IFIs. This meeting will aim to mobilize targeted support for the LLECs and transit countries in implementing the program of action with new programs and initiatives expected to be announced. Excellencies, distinguished colleagues, I thank you once again for the opportunity to brief you on the new program of action for the LLECs. The entire United Nations system is ready to leverage this ambitious program to advance the development prospects of the LLDCs. The WTO's support will be critical in ensuring the LLDCs fuller integration in global trade. I'm very encouraged to be here at this formal session of the CTD and hope that it will be a first step towards a conducive multilateral framework for the LLDCs. Our goal is simple excellencies, but yet very powerful. We need to harness trade as a driving force for sustainable economic growth in the countries that need it most. I thank you very much.